Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy from Video Aerial Systems. I'm Mark Ashton, M. Ashton, Operations Manager here at Video Aerial Systems. And what are we doing tonight? Uh, well, tonight it's a little after, what, 9 p.m.? Yeah, maybe about um, 9.30, something like we're that. We're down here at the warehouse late doing a little bit of research. Um, we it recently, never ends, does yeah, it? No. Uh, <laughs> we recently switched over from ABS to acrylic formers for our helicals and for our pepper boxes and crosshairs. Um, so looks a we lot want, better, doesn't it? Yeah, it absolutely does. It's a little better RF wise as well. Yeah, I know. That was that was a big kicker for me. Yeah. So what we want to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to box some stuff up. Okay. Based on what you may order at home from a vendor or even some of our smaller vendors, some of their size orders. I'm not going to get into some of the bigger orders because that gets extremely crazy. Um, but we'll box up some stuff. We're going to do some drop testing, um, throw it across the room. And let's just see what it takes to break this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have the pepper box. Okay. Okay, that's that's our largest, heaviest antenna. Um, and uh, well, let's see what you can do. We're gonna package it again, I guess, with blue beam ultras and transmitter and receiver, just like before. So uh, there's our pepper box. Our pepper box. It should come ship. wrapped like that. We do ship them out to our vendors with this cover. Yeah, let's stick this guy on in here. All right. So blue beam, blue beam ultras. This is gonna be an end. Interesting little test here. Yeah, well, considering the Blue Beam Ultras, well, we might get a, 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 a peanut or two on top of that. Yeah, we'll we, see. We, we might be all right with that. All right, stump that in there. Get them around. Make sure we get, get them under the. Yeah, yeah, let's get them. Put the packages right. That's good. So that's probably enough, I would think. All right. Tape gun. Tape gun, tape rod. We're just putting a single piece of tape on here because that'll make like Yes, right. All right, so we're going to do the same test. We're going to take a simple lazy FedEx UPS USPS driver and we're just going to drop it off the back of his truck a couple feet. And upside down. And what the hell, let's just say somehow he drops it like this. Got some box damage. Yeah, well, Minor, kind of, I mean, we got more. box damage on the last one. Right, okay. which we know there's nothing in this box to support that, so it's kind of Okay, so we finally, three drops before we got box damage. Uh, let's cut this thing open. Um, I got a couple of crushed peanuts, blue beam ultras, there's blue in beam ultras. perfect shape. Like, there's the video transmitter, it's good. The receiver's somewhere in there, let's just dump out the peanuts. Yeah. Did that just fall out? Are we get the receiver out? No, the receiver's right here. Oh, there it goes. There's the receiver. She looks good. No, uh, she's fine. All right, let's pull the antenna out. We'll inspect it. Any kind of breakage? I don't see any damage. No. Seems solid. Pull on the lid. No. Uh, no damage. Uh, not that I can see. No, I don't. No damage. I do not see even the slightest hint of damage here. So that's a good successful test. We'll uh, box her back up. And the high drop. And then we'll do a high drop and a toss. See what it does. Okay. All right. So high, high drop tests. High drop. I'm going to hold it above my head, which will get us roughly about an eight foot drop. That's one heck of a drop. Is that on its back or on its that, top? That'll be on its back. Okay. Um, so. Okay, so not on the face. Go ahead. Correct, not on the face. That didn't damage it, no way. I mean, it hurt the box pop, but nothing inside, I don't think. I, I'm, okay, so uh, you're taller on its face. Okay. <laughs> you're taller than me. Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> right and on I, the corner. I dropped it right on the corner. We did get some box damage, but I don't All think right. that matters, personally. Okay, that was on its side. Let me toss it. <laughs> Try this again. Until I land this thing flat. Ah! I will land this flat. I will land this flat. There we hey. go. All right. All right. Hey, oh, that... we gotta do the toss test. Oh, do the toss test. Well, let's check it. Let's check. It. Oh, let's check it. Yeah, we did drop it. And oh. it got a lot of. It got a lot of bounce. It got 
got some pretty significant box damage, or at least enough that you'd want to make sure that it's not. Yeah, I mean, we, we really. <laughs> Alright, so the Blue Beam Ultras, this time we actually got a result. Yeah, um, we actually crushed the clamshell. They're fine. Clamshell. Yeah, crushed the clamshell, but pops right back in place. Yeah, they, they answer, they're not damaged, are they? No, no they're, they're fine. fine. <laughs> the clamshell seen better days, but they, it did its job. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, let's just go ahead and dump the peanuts out. Are you just going to me? Try to find the transmitter and receiver, and I'm sure it's not. There it is. There it is. There's the receiver. There's the transmitter. There's the transmitter. All right. Okay, so those are fine. So here's your typical order. Now we just got done brutalizing this box, so uh... Nice way to make a mess, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, wow. you said get the antenna out, so that's what I did. Alright, so let's flip this over and see what it looks like. Hey, we got a second... Oh, there's our transmitter we lost earlier. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, I am not seeing any cracks. I, I don't no crinkles, no scratches. No, no, no damage? Anything? It, it's not. Anything? No, no damage. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. The cover's still on there nice and tight. I mean, it is not even... The glue didn't pop Dang, loose. She's gone. She's, she's perfectly fine. Huh. That's I thought for sure we'd have something. I thought so too. So guys, here it is. No damage. Okay guys, so uh, it looks like the, when properly packaged at least, the acrylic stands up. I'm, I'm not too interested in destroying an antenna for the sake of poor packaging. So, I mean, that, that takes hours to make and I'm not interested in destroying it. You sure? Uh, no, 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 no. Look, the vendors should package it properly. Okay. So. Um, and we, we brutalized that box. It took it in a, stand, a typical order. So, um, I think they're plenty tough. They're tough. Yeah, I think they're fine. Um, packaged properly from the vendor. Yeah. If you're a customer and you order, you, you know, you expect that. You expect it to be, pro hand, you know, packaged properly. But so not that, handled like that. Not handled like that, but you, a as a consumer, you also expect when you're ordering something online, for that kind of stuff to happen. You okay. expect for it to be mishandled. So guys, you know, the reason we're doing this is because we have had antennas break in the past and in shipment. And well, we didn't know whether it was due to a material change or, or, or if it was due to mishandling or improper packaging. Um, but we've seen that proper packaging, even severe mishandling, unless the truck's going maybe 60 miles an hour down the highway and the door flies open, it holds up. So if you've got it, if you do find this broken, then maybe that happened. Maybe the door of the truck flew open, but um, it can take it. So uh, hopefully, hopefully none of these break on, the, on their way to their uh, users. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully they can open a box and just go for business. Yeah. And if it does, you know, file, you know, get your vendor to file a claim with their shipping company. They should replace the antenna for you. Um, if not, give us a call. We'll take care. Yeah, if your vendor your vendor won't take care of it, we always do. So uh, take care, guys. Uh, I must admit, I'm not so nervous. I actually had fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good test. A lot of fun. Let's let's go eat dinner. We haven't eaten yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. It's after ten. Have a good one.